So this lab can be performed in a group, um, a lab group of up to four students. Um, here we have two that are going to be um, performing the experiment for us today. Um, we'll start by um, the students uh, retrieving the shellac and the sodium alginate from their student buckets. Okay, and then if you guys will retrieve the three plastic beads and put them in separate spots on the well plate. Okay, so using one of the squishy pipettes, I'd like you to add five drops of shellac to each of the three wells containing the bead. So the next step in the experiment is to add five drops of sodium alginate um, to each of the wells. The sodium alginate is a little bit more viscous, so it might take a little bit to get it into the squishy pipette. It will work, don't give up. At this point, you're going to um, set your timer for at least five minutes. Um, if your class time allows a longer period of time, um, you can let it go longer, um, but five minutes should be sufficient um, for the shellac and the sodium alginate to start their cross-linking um, to make the enteric coating. All right, while um, these are setting up, um, we can go ahead and set up our cups. Um, so you'll retrieve the three cups from the bucket and um, you're gonna label the three cups. And you're gonna match the label to what's on your um, data table. So one of them is gonna be hydrochloric acid, which is capital H, capital C, lowercase l, it's a chemical symbol for hydrochloric acid. Um, one we're going to label H2O for water. Okay, and then the last one we're going to label N, capital N, lowercase a, capital O, capital H for sodium hydroxide. Okay, remember that um, these three things represent three different parts of the digestive system. So sodium hydroxide is representing the small intestine because it's um, a basic substance. Water is representing the large intestine because that's where water is reabsorbed. And hydrochloric acid is representing the environment of the stomach, which is highly acidic. Um, so we're gonna measure out using our graduated cylinder 20, um, 20 milliliters of each of the substances. Um, so if you guys will start with um, the water one. So 20 milliliters of water using your graduated cylinder. So now that you have your 20 milliliters of water, you're going to pour that into your cup labeled H2O. Right, next, you're going to measure out 20 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. Okay, and you'll put that in the cup labeled NaOH for sodium hydroxide. Okay, next you're gonna rinse out your graduated cylinder. Um, now that your graduated cylinder is rinsed, you're gonna measure 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, HCl. And 
and you'll place it in the cup that's labeled HCl for hydrochloric acid. All right, so at this point, um, we should be ready to go. And so the next step is to um, take the pill and you're gonna kind of scoop it out and then roll it between your thumb and your finger um, to create a coating. It's not gonna be perfect. There'll be little chunks. Um, don't stress, it doesn't have to be perfect. But you wanna get as much around it and as evenly as possible. Um, we're gonna do all three and then we're gonna put them um, as close to uh, the same time in the cups and then we'll start our timer and um, we'll be record recording um, observations for a total of five minutes every 30 seconds um, on our lab journal. So we can each do one. Um, that way we can do it at the same time. You ready? Yeah. All right, so you'll scoop out and then roll, yep. Just roll like this. Yep, just roll it around between your thumb and your finger. Try to get it as coated as much as possible. Okay, I'm gonna go set, ahead and set my timer for five minutes. And then we're gonna put them in one in each of the cups. Ready? Go. All right, now um, every 30 seconds, we're gonna make observations on our data table um, about our results. Okay, after five minutes, these are the results of the um, experiment for part one. Um, and so if you look at them a little closely, um, the pill in the hydrochloric acid, which represented the stomach environment, um, nothing happened. It just stayed the same, um, no changes over the five minute time frame. Um, the pill that we have in the water, which represents the large intestine, um, it had a little bit, it looks like it's hanging off a little bit, but not very much happened with that one either. And then the final example of the sodium hydroxide, which is representing the environment of the small intestine, we had a lot of movement there. So um, you can see that there is a color change. Um, a lot of dissolving has happened. And um, that's what we expected because enteric coatings are supposed to dissolve in the intestine, the small intestine. All right, in part two of the experiment, now that we understand more about how enteric coated pills are created and how they work in the digestive system, you're gonna focus only on the small intestine. So remember, sodium hydroxide is representing the small intestine um, because it's um, basic and that's the pH of the small intestine. So the objective of this part of the lab is to engineer your own shellac based on enteric coating that will dissolve in the small intestine. And once it enters the small intestine, it has to dissolve between five and six minutes no sooner, no later. Um, for the purpose of this lab, you're gonna test your different coatings on cover slips. So if you wanna remove the cover slips from um, this here, you can um, set them out. So you're gonna um, practice three different ratios for this part of the experiment. So you can just lay them on the table, the three out. And um, let me just do it like this. And then you'll want to make sure that you know the order that these are in. So for this portion of the lab, you're going to have to determine the ratios that you would like to test. And so um, for ratio one, uh, for our demonstration today, um, we'll do 20% shellac to 80% sodium alginate. So if you want to write that, um, underneath number one so we can keep track of it and this will be on your data table as well. Twenty percent shellac and eighty percent All right, for ratio number two we're gonna try out ninety percent shellac and ten percent sodium alginate. And for ratio number three, we're gonna try out 70% shellac and 30% sodium alginate. Remember your total should equal 100%. Okay, and these correspond to the number of drops that you're gonna put on the slide. We'll all, always start with shellac. So in the um, first, on the first cover slip, you're gonna do 
two drops of shellac. And you'll just put it right in the middle of the cover slip. And then you'll be doing um, eight drops of sodium alginate. Remember again, it's pretty viscous, so um, be patient. And um, for the second one, we're going to do nine drops of shellac. And one drop of sodium alginate. For the final one, we'll do um, seven drops of shellac. And three drops of sodium alginate. You're able to pick your own percentages and ratios, but remember yesterday when we did 50-50, um, our coating started dissolving before five minutes and that wouldn't hit the target for what we're looking for. All right, so now we're gonna set the timer for um, five minutes to let them dry. Again, if you have longer amount of time, you can leave it longer. Um, for the purposes of our class period, um, five minutes seem to be enough time um, for them to dry. You can throw away your pipettes and then we'll be setting up our cups. All right, so at this point, we're gonna set up our um, cups. We're gonna label them one, two, and three for ratio one, two, and three. Perfect. Some extra, I'll put that back here. Okay, and um, we're gonna fill the cups with 20 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. So you can go ahead and measure those out and fill them up. So all three cups will have sodium hydroxide in them. Okay, and um, at the end of the five minutes, you're gonna drop the three um, cover slips into the three containers of sodium hydroxide, and you're gonna make observations um, on your lab journal under the data analysis um, for a total of eight minutes, um, every half a minute. Um, remember, we're looking for something that dissolves exactly between five and six minutes. Um, and so we should be able to determine the ratio um, where that best happens. All right, after the timer goes off um, and the enteric coating has solidified on the um, cover slips, we're gonna put them in the appropriate cups. Um, we should do it at the same time and then we'll start the timer for eight minutes and we'll record our observations every half minute. You guys ready? Okay, so sometimes they're a little hard to get off the table. If you scooch it to the edge, it might be a little bit easier. And then we'll time our dropping. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right, and then I'm gonna set the timer for eight minutes. And every um, 30 seconds, we're gonna 
write our results down, um, our observations, and remember our target is to find um, the coating that dissolves between exactly between five and six minutes. Um, whichever one that is, that would be the ratio that we're going to suggest to the project lead the way um, ink.